don't want to put your get your gloves here, lay it somewhere else, okay? Um, normally, when you're in surgery, what we do is break the seal, the tape seal. But here, because I need to save stuff, we're going to just pull it off. If it ends up ripping it, then we'll just throw it away anyway. We'll just stick it here or stick it on your clothes, whichever. Okay? Now this is how we go, it's going to happen, and I want you to pay attention, please. All right. First of all, it's going to be opening away from you to the side, to the side. Make sure you hold on to one side and pull the bottom down. Remember, paper has memory. Only touch the one inch margin. See how the entire mayo is covered? Then I have a second paper. In the OR, it's only going to be one double fused paper. But here, it's just to get you to unwrap stuff and learn how to do that with a single paper. So you can always walk around the perimeter. Never reach over and try to adjust. Unsterile, sterile. Okay? Gloves. Okay, you're going to open like we did. This is how, when, remember when I was having you open across the top? This is very crucial here. It has to be opened all the way across the top. Pulled down to the point where it's not over the edges. See it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to take my hand now at this point and I'm going to project it. Okay, everybody good? All right, now coming in from the outside with wet hands, I'm going to reach on quickly, pick up. Notice how I did not touch anything but the top of the towel. That's why it's so critical when I say pick it up on top because when you have other stuff laying underneath it, you cannot touch it because it will not be sterile after that. Okay, kept in the same hand. Next, I'm going to get the gown. You want to be on top the best you can. Slide the uh, gloves off. Now, at this point, you're looking for the... Uh, the part here, this is the collar, okay? It's like a scooped collar. Everybody see it? Yes. That's what you're looking for. That's going to go against your chest. You do, with these gowns, have like little flaps you can stick your hands in. See? Mm -hmm. Somewhat. Some gowns are better than these. These are a little bit smaller. You want to put your hands in, kind of inside. Open it up like a book. And now you're going to drop it in front of you. Don't shake too much, but drop it. And at the same time, you're going to put your arms in and put it on. Okay? Can someone tie me up? It's the two. There's one inside. Inside. Okay, you're going to tie that. And I'm going to bring my hands up to the cuffs. And then there's Velcro at the top. And only touch the top, very top of the gown. Yep. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is turn my gloves around, upside down. See how it's upside down? <laughs> Reading is all upside down. Open it up like a book, drop it. At this point now, it's not anything like the open gloving, where you have to actually open it up, you know, open the top, bottom, and then the sides and uh, the middle. What you're going to do is just open up like the left paper. I can get it open. I'm going to take, you don't have to open it all the way because you don't want to ever come in contact with the sides of the um, paper that's laying down underneath. You're going to pick it up at the cuffed rolled edge, flip it over onto your hand. I picked it up like I was pinching it. Now I'm going to take the other cuff, you never let go of it, take the other side of the cuff and I'm going to spread it apart and put my hand inside. Okay? So you pick it up with a hand, you're actually on a glove. Yes. Same, you do that also with the open gloving, you probably just don't realize it. But you always cross over no matter what. Okay, and then you just kind of have to work it on. If you, if it gets stuck, don't pull too hard on your sleeve because it can rip. Mm -hmm. You just kind of want to adjust it here, maybe pull a little bit. And then at some point, you're going to pick up your sleeve. I know you can't, it's hard to see, but you're going to pick up your sleeve and your cuff of the glove and pull it onto your hand. Okay? 
You had kind of hold of the glove and the gown and glove the and the sleeve. Yes, and pull it onto your hand. Now, I can now open up this other side, go in and reach, pick it up. Notice that my also before I pick it up, the fingertips here are pointing towards me. Mm. Okay, that's what we do in closed gloving. Flip it over. Now this one, just like in open gloving, I'm going to protect my fingers. So I'm going to stick my fingers underneath the cuff. Okay, and I'm still holding on to this side. I'm going to spread my fingers out, shove my cuff in, and come over. Okay? That's what kind of thing, so. And then you just kind of work it on by pulling the uh, glove up and the sleeve. You don't ever want the, the sleeve part to be outside of your glove. But it's okay if it comes down yes. to this part of your wrist. It's fine. Okay. Like that. Okay? Now I've got the glove. Now at this point, I'm going to take my dance card. Mm -hmm. We call it a dance card That's cool. in surgery. You always want to have the card in your right hand with the string and the string in your left. You never let go of the string once you grab it. Okay? I'm going to offer my dance card to you. You're going to touch it only here, hold on to it, and I'm going to turn around. And I'm going to grab the string from, uh, let, hold on to it. So let me get that out. Okay, now the dance card is yours. I don't want it back. And then you just tie it at your side. Okay, now you're ready to go. Next step would be going over, setting up your back table, setting, dressing your mayo, and setting that up. If you're going to dump the glove, would you, when